Hello, hello, hello. This is Angela Toma with Dogwood Paper Arts. Welcome to my studio here in Sweet Home, Oregon. So nice of you each to join me. Uh, we are working on the journal um, Ciao Bella Sounds of Spring. And um, we are going to work on a new pocket. Uh, a new sack um, pocket that I saw Gail Augustinelli do today. Today is still the 6th and um, it was a really cool one. Her friend, I think her name's Lorette, but I'm not sure. I'll put it down in the description box. And um, but her friend had made one and she purchased one from her shop, which is in her daughter's shop. And I will list all of that down in the description box for you. But she apparently had made some of these and was selling them. And Gail got one and then Gail just had to, to make one because it was so cool. And I agree, it was the coolest little pocket ever. So first I'm going to tell you, I'm using a, um, uh, oh, glassine bag that is three and seven eighths inches wide. And it is from the very top to the bottom, six and a half inches long. So I've measured a piece of paper to fit this and I need to cut it off just slightly because it's just slightly too big. Now I've cut it a little long here in the back and the reason is is because you have to take into consideration this half of an inch here between the top of the bag and the um, first part of the bag. Let me set my timer and set it up there. You have to take that into consideration so that it covers it. Okay, so after I measured this to that, I figured out I needed that one inch there. And then I knew that the paper didn't need to go all the way to the bottom of the sack. So I came up about a half of an inch and I made a score line on my paper. And then I left myself two inches for a pocket and I cut it off and folded it up. And now I am getting ready to work on this sack envelope. But we're going to cut this down slightly. I'm hoping not to cut it down too far. Because if I do, well, you know, not so successful if I do that. So I'm just going to start by trimming this little tiny slice off of here. See? Tiny slice. I'm not saving that tiny slice. Okay, let's. Okay, that fits perfectly. Okay. So then, if I can remember everything I'm supposed to do here, we are going to first start by gluing this to the sack. So um, I thought it was um, good watching Gail to do doing this today. Um, I'm going to just give myself some little lines back here just so I can see where to put my glue. And my glue, one thing Gail noted was that make sure you glue on this side so that you know not to glue right there <laughs> and glue your envelope closed, your flap closed. So we have that. I'm just going to kind of slide that in there. Um, 
around. Hopefully it's all in there correctly. Trying to line it up and gauge where it is. <laughs> so here we go. Okay. Now the next thing I need to do is cut a divot in here. So I've brought along my hole punch and this hole punch is uh, about an inch and a half. And I'm just going to eyeball center there. I'm not not sure where it's at, but I'm, I'm just going to kind of eyeball it. And now I have Salty Ocean with me today. Or this afternoon. And we're going to go around this because it is in blue. So... I'm going to continue on with the blue, kind of like I've been doing throughout this journal. I've just been uh, basically um, using inks that are the color of the paper or similar to the paper. Okay, and then let's see, I want to shade that just a little bit more. And since this flips up, we better do the back as well. And then we will also do this little piece right here. There we go. I think we are all inked in there. Now let's go ahead and put some glue on here and close our pocket. That's not a very straight line, is it? going to move that so if the glue squishes out it doesn't get all over my bag. And clean that little bit up. I know my table's a mess. I'm really sorry but it's a working desk right now. And I have a glass mat that I clean and stuff but since I've been bringing my sewing machine over and I was going to sew this and I forgot so we won't sew it today um, I was going to sew oh well we don't need to I mean we could still sew around this we just wouldn't have our pocket sewn shall we do that Okay, we will. Got to move just a few items. <laughs> Looks like more than a few, doesn't it? And then I have to pull my machine over here. There we go. And let's see, what was that st stitch length I did? 2.0, stitch number 5. Oh, but I don't want 5. I actually want 2. And I think I went to maybe 3.5. I don't know. We'll see. So, we are going to... I think we'll start here at the bottom. Now I don't want to take up a whole bunch of my pocket so I want to be careful about um, how much I stitch at the base. So I'm just going to take a little stitch down there. 
And then I'm going to try and keep it about the same going around the edges. No guarantees. Go just slightly, slightly one more stitch, I think. No, maybe not. No. Sometimes that one more stitch gets you in trouble, doesn't it? So I'm kind of right on the edge here. It's getting a little darker in here, so it's harder for me to see what's what's what. I have my glasses on. I'm just not, I don't think I'm used to my new um, light yet at nighttime. But I'm not usually in here in the evening anyway. Okay. So there we go. It's a little crooked right there. I kind of feel like maybe I should sew around it one more time just to give it a little better look. I'll pull the machine a little bit closer to me. There we go. You can at least see some of what I'm doing. Yeah, I just kind of feel like I'm too slow. They kind of mess things up. <laughs> I need a little non-slip pad underneath my foot pad. So this way the sloppy stitching sloppy without the whole thing looking super sloppy. It's just something you can do when um, when your stitching is out of whack. And that does help. A little bit. Okay. I'm not going to worry about all that. Um, well, I probably will. I definitely used to stitch better than I do right now. So I'm just going to kind of blue that in a little bit. Just a... Kind of put some color on my... And then I am going to take my brown and vintage that blue up a little bit the brown obviously has some yellows in it because we're getting a few little greens Take this. Just kind of gives us a little darker color and gives it a little more uh, vintage look to it. Okay. Now we need a picture on here. So, brought along some pictures. Um, keep seeing this little girl with the chickens. Don't know if she'll really fit. I, I might have to. 
um, cut it smaller maybe. So I keep looking at her. I think she's really cute. Um, there's another one. The lady is just beautiful. Um, Mother Mary. I do have these. She might not be in here. I do have her. I think she would be very pretty. Um, I mean, Her. She is so perfect for this. Look at the colors. Okay, so this is a paper by um, Altered by Design 2008. It happened in Paris. It was www.alteredbydesign.com. So, um, you know, 2008, it's been a while. I don't know if the shop is still there or not. I will check to see if it is still there. Oh no. What I do, just pick up my Oh no, you guys. I lost my <laughs> Here it is. <laughs> I picked the whole thing up. Threw it all in the drawer. <laughs> oh my goodness. I also, you know, we used kind of a couple in love, and I this one is so pretty, isn't it? Just very, very pretty. So I'm going to start by cutting cutting this one out. I think she's perfect for it. Um so I don't know if I'm going to look at the couple or not because I had my thoughts on her mostly. Yeah, look at how, how perfect she is on there. Isn't that nice? I just think that looks really good. So I think we'll use her. I mean, we could use them. No, it's her. We're using her. Um, let's see now. Do we need a color sort of behind her? We have... Um, Let's see. Can I have the hat? We have that one. I don't think I have any more really pink ones. I think they're going mostly blues and greens now. Oh wait. I do have that. I do think she'd look better on that blue with maybe a little bit of a background color. Even the green I think would look good. Yeah. So I'm going to cut this right about here. I left my piece there so I would know approximately. Let's go all the way down. She is going to go... Oh goodness, I cut it too short.
Well, darn it. I don't want to cut her off anymore. I could fussy cut around that. I don't know what I was thinking. going to go this way. I'm going to cut the kitty out. There we go. Okay. Going this way. And we're going to cut it off right here. Right about here. Okay, that ought to be better. That ought to do her. My husband loves otters. They are so cute. I've been looking at the Oregon Zoo website and those otters and all the different animals they've been showing lately. Just so awesome. You know what? They are just absolutely beautiful. Okay, so I'm going to come over here and grab my purple. And the reason I'm going purple is because she has the grapes in her hair. And I'm going to be gentle as I go around so I don't put purple all over her. And then I'm going to do the same on the screen. I know, wickedly bad. But doesn't it look scrumptious? I'm being careful, you guys. It's hard. Whew. So glad to get through that. My goodness. Okay, let's put her on here. Come on. Oh, there it comes. Probably going to come out right on the paper. You can shake that little thin string of glue back down into your glue, but you know what? It's still going to be a thin string of glue. I have found that you really got to just squish them out of there. And uh, it keeps your glue working a lot better for a long time until your nib totally gums up this nib. Once it comes up, well, you know, not so good. Okay, so we're going to put her here. And she is actually going to go under here just slightly. So we better put her down quite well, huh? Should have stitched around her, too. Should have stitched her on the pocket. Now we know we've got to go in there just slightly. So we'll start there and then we'll come back out a little bit. I 
Yeah, some of that glue really showed up under there, didn't it? That's too bad. Um, let's put these back there. And I think... No, I don't think that will work. Oh, I know. what colors we I think I'm going to go with the green. This kind of soft green color. And I'm just going to place that right down here. I could put it there, but I have that divot in there. So I think we'll just put it down here. across there. else. She needs something more, doesn't she? You need something more, my dear. Um, this is that basic gray fabric. Hmm. I could Maybe put that on there. Couldn't tell you where I got the fabric. I, I don't keep stuff marked all the time. The only thing I've been keeping marked is my um, pieces that I buy that are digitals. Look. <laughs> now we need like a stamp. Um, here is this one. It's going the wrong way, darn it. Oh, look, this has a purple one in it. This might be two together. I think we'll put that on there. 
let's go around our edges a little bit with the purple. This time it's a Stazon. And the color is Gothic Purple. And it is a beautiful color. It's not the same as that other one. Let's use a little bit of this. Time to fill this up again. Takes it a while to work its way back down. It's just a thick ooey gooey goo. And what else? Let's take this. Better take the happy birthday off of there. Don't even know if this will stick to this anymore. Hope it does. Goodness. Did you hear that? A little bit of an explosion out there. But he must have some old fireworks or something. Okay, so we have that. Now we need something right there, don't we? What do we need? I'm going to put that right there and then we'll... Um, Maybe put another uh, cancellation mark on it. It says 1955. It needs to say something like 1855. That would be better. I think this time we'll go with black ink just to change it up so it looks like it got postmarked at two different places. There we go. I like that. Okay, now we need a tag on the inside. And it needs to be kind of a tall tag. So um, that does not fit. So we are going to have to make our own. Kitty, will you fit in there as a tag? Oh, even your ear would stick out. Oh, that would be pretty, wouldn't it? It can be a little journaling card, can't it? So we'll make it... Oh, right about here, I guess. I'm going to cut that off. corners half inch because it's a fat tag oh I wonder if that's going to fit in there we better make sure first huh? okay it is going to fit in there okay 
Now we need to clip its little corners a little bit here. So go like this. Like that. So now it's going to go like this. There we go. And we need a little hole in it. We'll go back there. I think that a person can write right on that, don't you? Yeah, I think so. I think that we will sew around it. Whoops. Throw that happy birthday in there for right now. Want to get rid of those. Okay. a little closer to me so I'm not sticking my head in there. You don't need to see my gray in hair. I don't need to see my gray in hair on video either. Just a tiny. It needs a half stitch, but I know it won't let me do that. I don't think we'll be using that anymore this evening. And we're going to look in here. And I'm going to go around this with purple. So I want to find a little light lavender one. Here we go. And I'm going to insert that. There we go. combination of colors is wild tonight, isn't it? Greens and purples and blues and but you know it's fun to use color. I think color is just um, I love color. Somebody once said I had too much makeup. Well, she didn't realize that my too much makeup was actually lipsticks. 
and my lipstick is I have lots of lipstick I love lipstick I can go without makeup I can't go without my lipstick I love lipstick so I have lots of colors now we can put this in there I don't want to put the fuzzy in there that's not where I'm going I don't really want a ribbon it would have to be pretty fancy type ribbon what do I want I want something pretty and I don't know that's not it that's definitely not it nope 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 no no Time to grab the big old ribbon thing. Hang on. Haven't grabbed it for a while. I see some pretty Easter -y colors on there. And let me bring the Christmas one because it has. Well, no, let me. I'm going to grab the Easter one. It's kind of Easter y. This was from Michael's. And I bought them when they first came out with them. Here is this very unusual one. It looks like it has a baker's twine in it. And then here is this one. I think this one might go. This one, yeah. I think we'll go this one with just a slight touch of purple. I know. Wild colors. I told you. Going to fold that over. Unless I can find a blue that needs to go with it. I don't think they'll all fit in there. Oh, look at this blue with silver. How pretty is that? It has tinsel running through it. It almost looks like it has um, little beads in it, but it's more like a tinsel. You know, the stuff you put on your tree. I don't think all this is going to go through here. See if I can stab myself here. <laughs> or not. Let's not. Oh, look at that. And she did it. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, she did. You know, I just happen to think now that I've got all this through here that all that's going to do is bulk up underneath there. But there it is. It's there. <laughs> I think it's permanent. Okay. Throw that in that little bag over there. Those I'll save. And this will go in here. Just like that. Let's see if it closes. It does. Okay. So now we need to do something on here. Now, she just left hers plain. Um, and I think that is what um, Gail did, too. I think she, not plain, but, you know, with just a, um, a design on it or something. So let's see what we have here. Probably have some flowers somewhere that could be used. Well, there's a rose. I like that. So 
some of these. Oh. Must, oh, she's one she's one that lost her arm. I'm so sorry, little girl. What happened? Oh, there's another envelope. What's that? I do love that. Ooh. in here too. Oh, I got all kinds of goodies in this one. The squirrel. Oh, I wonder where these stamps went. <laughs> and there they are. There is a sticker. Photo sleeves. Kind of a cool one. A bird in there. That's different. There's a... Oh, here. How about... No, wrong color. This is pretty. That's from Wintertime Crafts. It is not enough to be busy, so are the ants. The question is, what are we busy about? I know, I should have had this figured out, but I didn't know it was going to get this far, to be honest with you. We're going with that. Because the woman on the front loves her flowers. So this is what we're going to use inside of here. Oh my goodness, look at that. I got ink on it, you guys. Sheesh. I must have had... Oh, I must have got it on that. Oh. And... Why'd you do that? I'm not going to ink it up if I can avoid it. Just that I want it to get really light purple around the edge right now. There we go. And then I think we'll go back to Salty Ocean. And now we're going to go a little bit deeper pull those two colors together. The oxide, just the, the blue, which is the oxide ink, will probably kind of take on a um, dollar look in it after it all dries. Okay. This is going to go on there. This time it formed a cap. And I need my towel. Insert our tag. Just like that. Look at that. 
Oh, that is so bad. Oh, well. That is the way it goes. Tough luck, Buttercup. That's what I say to me. It's okay, little Buttercup. It'll get better. Gosh, it's almost perfect if it didn't cover up her face, huh? How about a piece of ephemera? That is a um, washi sticker. Oh, hey, here we go. Oh, maybe she's an artist. That would be a good card for her. Maybe this one. Oh, flowers. Maybe this way. There, that adds just a little nether color in there. Okay, where's our book? Let's find a page. We only have five minutes, you know. Okay, there we have that. We have that. We have that. We have a lot of stuff in here. We're not going to need to add very much ephemera. But I think I'll put it right here. Um, nope. I'm going to put it right here. Okay. I'm going to take this out until it dries. Now, we can glue this down on three sides and have a pocket here. We can glue it this three sides and have a pocket for a tag here. Should we do that? I think that might be best to hold it down a little more steady. So let's do that. Oh no! Nope, we're not doing that. I just I just went over the top, you guys. So you know what? I think I'm I think it's enough of a pocket already. Let's just glue it down. I think it, it's enough of a pocket. It's already got quite a bit of stuff in it and on it. And pull that out temporarily. has a bendy look in it, doesn't it? So this is a very good journaling card here. It's nice and white on the back. I am upset about this ink getting on here. But that's the way it goes. It's okay, Angela. It'll be okay. So there we go. We now have a beautiful little journaling card and tag. And of course this. And it will stay closed just with the book, actually. I think that will take care of it. If it gets in the way, we'll make a thing here to there and tie it close. But there we go. So I'll, if I don't link everything below, please, please, please let me know. 
and I will do that. This is upside down, by the way. But, eh, well, that's the way it is. It's okay that way. I feel like it needs another piece of this right here. Or perhaps it needs something that just grips it to hold it closed. What do you think? Something that just barely there. What could it be? I don't know. You have to be steady enough to hold it down like a button. No, that won't work. It was a smart idea. Hmm, <laughs> I like that. I'm putting it on there. Pretty, pretty, pretty. I think what it needs down here is just like some little buttons or something. I don't know if I have any that would actually work there. Oh, that's our time. Hmm. Well, we'll have to think about that. There's that one from Carol. Thank you, Carol. I sure love those buttons. Okay, well, it is time to call it, so you know what I'm going to say. <gasps> Look at these. Oh, man, this is so perfect. I'm going to say, look at these. That's better than that one. You know, actually, a button down here kind of holds that down just a little bit. Perhaps we should put a couple buttons down here. Big, small, medium, large. Ooh, that's a pretty one. Oh, there's a clock. There's a birdhouse. Oh, I like that change of color. It matches that one. I love it. Yeah, gotta go with this one. Sorry, I know I'm dilly dallying. I'm so sorry. I just had to figure out a way to cover up that icky ink I did. My stink ink. I told you. That's the fun thing about doing these videos is not only are you, you know, trying to help people, but you're also showing them that you make mistakes and hey, look, we can fix them. It's not perfect, but it looks better. And those three beautiful buttons 
help hold this closed and I like that. I do wish I didn't put that one up there. I'm going to see if it's loose enough. Oh it is. I'm going to put it up there to dry and then I think we might go with the birdhouse up there instead. Or the bird nest. Perhaps the bird nest. It doesn't really look like a bird nest. Oh, this one. Right here. This is it. Man, what a lucky find. It matches this all per perfectly. There. Perfect. So in a way, this is kind of like that um, covers that Tina was making at Shabby Dabby Doo Dah. You remember she made the front covers for the journals and she made a whole bunch of them. So this is kind of like that. I love it. It's perfect. Okay, well, now you know what I'm going to say. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And happy crafting, everybody. I will see you tomorrow.